Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and I heard you wanted a ban list. I personally was a bit indifferent on whether or not we got a ban list before YCS Atlanta because I was kind of interested to see how the Spiral versus Full Power Pendulum Magicians would play out, uh, but I'm honestly not too upset that we did get a ban list here and now, and the people that told me there was a ban list out, they started trying to tell me shit, and I was like, don't tell me anything, I want to do a live reaction video for this one and discuss things off the, off the top of my mind. And I just asked them, am I going to like this list or am I not going to like this list? And they're like, you're going to like it. So, very good. They know me very well. So, there should be some things on this list that I really, really like. I know for if Firewall is not limited to one, then there's someone that needs to burn somewhere out there. Because that card needs to be limited to one before any sort of degeneracy takes place with it. But, so what we have here uh, is, let's see, Blackwing Go for the Vague Shadow is the first thing that went from limited to banned. I, I don't know if I agree with that. The card wasn't really doing much at one. If anything, this may just be confirmation that Needle Fiber is on the horizon for us very soon. Potentially as an import in the next set because Gofu does kind of break Needle Fiber. Uh, and that's why the card like got limited here. It was at three for us for the longest time. It didn't actually matter. Uh, and then it went to one and now it's banned. And it's still at one in the OCG if I remember correctly. So like, I don't think it was necessary to ban this card. But I think it's, it's a sign of what's to come. Uh, Dandelion. Okay. This is something I wasn't expecting. Dandelion is from limited to banned. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this one. This one is sort of the same thing as Gofu, but it's not nearly as breakable. Although you can abuse its effect to get tokens multiple times a turn. If Firewall's at one, that play to abuse it over and over again infinitely doesn't happen anymore. So I don't... That kind of scares me. That kind of scares me that Dandelion gets banned, but Firewall... If Firewall... If, if Dandelion's getting banned, that makes me think that Firewall may not be limited. And that's bad juju. Like that's that's no. Like you didn't need to hit Dandelion because it's so hard to trigger it. Like, I mean, sure, like the only thing that I could think of is again, just like Gofu, is that they're banning Dandelion because something is on the horizon that we're getting soon, and that would be the plant link monster, because mathematician into Dandelion is an FTK. Lone Fire is an FTK, and so banning Dandelion makes it to where Mathematician is no longer an FTK. So that's curbing the performance of that deck, potentially. That's the only thing I can think of. Either that or Firewall's just not on this list. And I'm not going to be happy about that if that's the case. Uh, Double Iris Magician. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm very, I agree with this, 100%. Uh, in my Discord, I was chatting with people weeks ago about a ban list. Because I was telling them about how good Pendulum Magician is. And how I think it's legitimately the best deck if we get no ban list. Uh, and they were like, how do you hit the deck, though? It's Pendulums. They've, they've tried to hit the deck in the past, and it still keeps bouncing back. I was like... It'd probably have to be something random like banning Skulker by Joker, or banning Double Iris Magician, or something stupid like banning the trap card so that the deck can't have a searchable form of disruption uh, in some way to curb that deck's performance and make it to where it's not above and beyond the best deck because LOL Pendulums. And they banned Double Iris, so I was sort of correct in that. I like that. I like I like that I sort of got self-validation out of that. Uh, Level Leader. Okay. Isn't Link Karibo, like, legal yesterday or today? Like, it just became legal, like, this week or something like that. Like, it's only been legal... If it's been legal, it's only been legal for less than a week. And Konami is already like, nah, no level leader shenanigans, not for you. I, I, I'm okay with that. Level leader shenanigans are obviously... They break the Link mechanic. This card truly breaks the Link mechanic. And I'm okay with that being, uh... I'm okay with that being gone. Uh, this card and, like, Firewall are what broke the Link mechanic. Uh, like, many times in the in the past with it's already short history but let's see what's next max c is banned okay okay this one i agree with but i'm not happy about all right max c is it should have never been at one it should have never been at two max c is a card that should have been at three or should have been at zero and i'm more of an advocate for it at three because at three both players have it it defines the format it makes the people have to deck build smartly to be able to have plays around when you get max seed. There's so many little small aspects and avenues of technical play before you even sit down at the table that you have to take into account. You have to plan out what play am I going to do if I get max seed that gives me the most value, all that sort of stuff. With max seed being at zero, you no longer get those sorts of things. You no longer have to be smarter with your deck building choice. You'd have to, you no longer have to do any of that. Maxi at 1 was degenerate, Maxi at 2 is just a little bit less degenerate, but still degenerate because one person could have it and the chances of your opponent having it are less, uh, so it becomes a one-sided issue. With Maxi at 1, that was a huge factor. Um, Maxi being at 1 contributed to a lot of shitty Yu-Gi-Oh for the past literal 10 months, um, but overall, like, the OCG 
they put Maxi to two on a previous list and then immediately put it back to three because they realized this card was something that was balancing their format a lot more than it was when it was, you know, being hit on the list. It was being unfair versus it being a natural equalizer of power creep. Maxi is the hand trap that is the natural power creep equalizer. That card always curbs a format no matter how fast it is. Um, and it makes players have to make decisions, and those are just gone now with it at zero, which I'm okay with it being at zero. I'm okay with it being at zero because with it at zero, there's no more unfairness of one person having max C and one person not, but there's also no more curbing of the power creep. Now decks can just run completely wild. No no holds barred. Nothing, nothing restricting you other than the other hand traps. That I don't like. There's arguments for why Maxi is good at 0 and good at 3. I personally pref would prefer it at 3 just because, like I said, it's a natural curb. It requires more thought, it requires more technical, like, skill. Uh, there's there's a lot of things that I like about Maxi at 3, but I'm okay with it being at 0. I'm not unhappy that it's at 0, um, like, like hugely. Performer Pal Skull Curbat Joker is banned. Okay, so the other card that I said they'd have to ban to make Pendulum Magicians not good is also banned. Amazing! But it looks like that's all the monsters that got banned. Okay. So there's nothing... There, there's no, no other effect monsters that are banned. So there's no, like, hits to anything else. Neat. No new fusions, no new synchros, and no new Xyz bans. Jesus, we have a lot of Xyz bans. I didn't actually realize how many there actually were until now. Remember when we had, like, four banned synchros? <laughs> Even that felt wild. Okay, so no new banned spells. No new banned traps. What do we have here? Apocalyphort Towers came to one from being banned. This is okay. This is completely okay. The thing with Towers is that Towers could have come back as soon as the Link mo uh, mechanic was announced because when Towers was out and was a problem, it was a problem because we only had, like, the amount of outs to Towers in the game, you could count them on two hands. Like, there were only ten, like, legitimate outs to Towers in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And only four to five of them were things that you could actually realistically play in a good competitive deck at the time. The other ones were niche things like Gishki Zeogigas and shit like that. Or Medion, the Time Lord. <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, but it being at 1 is completely fine. It could be at 3 for all I care. Towers Turbo is not going to do well because at the end of the day, now it no longer has as much blanket immunity as it used to have. Now we have Link Monsters. Towers has zero immunity from those. You can Endgear to it, you can Firewall it, you can do a bunch of shit to it. There's, there, you can bore a load, take it. <laughs> Whoa. Um, like, there's just, there was no reason for this card to stay banned as soon as the Link Mechanic came out. Uh, Grinder Golem is limited. Okay. They're, they're just curbing that real quick. No Grinder Golem shenanigans immediately out of the gate. Okay. Well, okay, this, this changes some things. This means that Grinder Golem isn't, like, a card that will help Light Swarm be better to make one card curious. Uh, there's no more Grinder Golem shenanigans, even if we did... Even without Security Dragon, there was a Grinder Golem play right now. It just it was a two card combo instead of a one card combo. It was Grinder Golem plus Destrudo either in your hand or in your graveyard. Again, you made Moonlight Rose Dragon instead of uh, instead of Security Dragon, and it still let you bounce the firewall uh, the Grinder Golem and summon it again and make a firewall and do the entire play that just Grinder Golem and Security Dragon allowed. But it looks like we're not going to have that, which I'm not I'm not unhappy about. Like. I'd like to gr I'd like to grind a golem people in you know real life where they can't just leave just because I'm a troll. <laughs> like I'd love to sit down in an event and summon grinder golem and have the person I'm sitting next to not be able to leave because I'm a bit heated. I'm a bit I, I hold I'm a bit begrudging. I, I I'm a bit of a grudge holding person. And I'll be like, oh look, you didn't prepare for grinder golem. Weird. Looks like you get punished now and you can't leave this time. <laughs> it's because I'm an asshole. Uh, but yeah, Grinder Golem to 1 is fine. Like, if Konami doesn't want that to be a thing that happens in the TCG, then that's completely fine. That's that's their prerogative, that's their list. Uh, Perform Pal, or Perform Age Damage Juggler is limited now. Fantastic! I feel like this card should have never been banned. This is a card that I've been wanting to come back to 1 for the longest time because it makes Brilliant Fusion a better package for specific decks. The fact that you just run random Trick Clown it, it always irritated me. Like, I hate the fact that, like, Trick Clown is a brick. Um, if you draw it, like, this this makes Brilliant Fusion better for rogue decks. Damage Juggler was the only problem with the Perform Ages. Damage or, uh, did I say Plush Fire or Damage Juggler? Plush Fire was the only problem. Plush Fire deserves to be banned. Damage Juggler was just a unfortunate, uh, it was an unfortunate, um, like, loss. Like, Damage Juggler 
without plush fire is completely fair and had been fair it had been fair for months beforehand it was just doing things to make brilliant fusion better make other decks better uh and it was also just randomly a card that stopped you from getting ftk'd uh so like there was no re I, in my mind there was no reason for damage juggler to get banned it was just collateral damage uh but i'm happy that it's at least back at one now because that means that the clown engine can start actually becoming a thing again like that's an engine that I've missed. It's one of the coolest engines. It's an engine that I've missed. Uh, no new limited fusions or anything. Firewall. Whoa! Hold up! I saw this blue and I almost went right over this one. Firewall. That's a nice dark blue for that one. Okay, good. At least they distinguish it from rituals. What is that? I can barely read it. Firewall Dragon. Firewall Dragon is limited! Yes! This card needed to be limited. This card, as soon as it was announced, less than 24 hours after its announcement, when we still had shitty Link Monsters, this card already had like three different FTKs that people had thought up about it. And like one wasn't technically an FTK, but it was like Jeff Jones's shit where he was like, Naturia Beast, Honeybot, three Firewall Dragons that are all alive. Your opponent can't play spells or summon monsters. It was like, whoa. <laughs> okay, so yes, 100% Firewall needs to be limited. I agree with this. This card is 100% a card that from the day it was announced was destined to be limited because it's too unfair it's a continuous pendulum summon as i refer to it as it's effect to keep summoning monsters from hand like people thought pendulum summoning was unfair as soon as firewalls on the field you're just summoning continuously with no end in sight uh 100 i agree with this card to be one i was gonna make a video on why this card is destined to go to one before this list was announced and i might still make the video like that and talking about all the details of why firewall deserves to be at one so, definitely. I like that. What is this was forbidden? Monster Reborn is back! Good shit! Okay, the OCG never lost this card. We lost this card in September 2013. Uh, and this card was a card that... It was kind of being power crept out at the time that it got banned as well. It's very weird. Uh, like, almost no decks were actually playing... None of, the, none of the best decks were playing Monster Reborn when it got banned. Because, like, Dragon Rulers was the best deck. And it was Baby Rulers. And that deck just, like, wasn't playing Monster Reborn, like, 75% of the time. Um, obviously Rogue Dex will play it. I'm okay with it being back. It's kind of a sacky card, a little bit, but it, you're almost never using Monster Reborn to take a card out of your opponent's grave and attack for game with it anymore. You're more just using Monster Reborn as a combo extender, uh, which is something that I'm 100% okay with. Like, it becomes an extender, it becomes a recovery card, lets you play through hand traps. It, it, it promotes more skilled Yu-Gi-Oh than what people like to give it a bad rap for because of what it used to be. Because it used to be just like, oh, I top deck Monster Reborn, activate it, take your biggest monster in Grave, or some of my biggest monster and attack you for game. That was simpler Yu-Gi-Oh! That will still probably happen once or twice, but it's not going to be the main focus of the card. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm okay with this. Spiral Resort is limited. I like that. That just, like, low-key bans Master Plan. That's a very big hit to Spirals, by the way. That's a huge hit to Spirals. They lose five consistency cards. Uh, because they lose the they lose the other two resorts and terraforming isn't really an option anymore unless you want to play pseudo space so that's an option uh, but this also just kind of low-key bans master plan because master plans effect in grave has to resolve adding resort and a monster you can't just add the monster you have to add resort so you have to be able to in order to resolve master plan you have to be able to resolve a play to make double helix summoning master plan from your deck without using spiral resort that's the only way you can resolve master plans grave effect i like that it just like curbs the performance of the deck a fair amount and what is this there's a oh, there's a trap back i don't almost want to want to look at it solemn judgment is back yes this is my favorite trap card i don't understand why this card was ever banned again this card was banned on the same list that banned monster reborn back in 2013 and it was a very weird ban at the time because it wasn't really a competitively viable like defining card uh, like rogue decks were playing it obviously but the best deck in the room dragon rulers was not playing it and ultimately it's like it's not unfair i mean it is kind of like it's like one of those things you can use to just like cuck your opponent yes but it's not unfair it's not super unfair and like you have to pay half your life and that's a problem that's a problem at sometimes like this game is wild. Paying half your life is kind of problem problematic. There's a reason Destrudo decks are so easy to kill. Uh, but okay, yes, I'm happy with that. Solemn Judgment is legitimately my favorite trap card in the game. I'm 100% okay with this coming back to one. Fantastic. Okay, no new semi-limits, it appears. There's a bunch of shit off this ban list. Whoa! 
Okay, Moral Attack is off the list. Okay, that's irrelevant. That card should have. That card was limited after it wasn't even doing anything anymore. The card deserved to be unlimited a long time ago. BLS is back at three. Okay, again kind of irrelevant it hasn't been dividing the format at two like it's not going to do anything at three car trooper uh troop dupe scoop is way too out of date it's not going to do anything thunder king ryo is back to three for the first time since 2013 okay again it's not going to be doing much it makes stun decks a bit better so i guess you can throw them that bone Brianak, dragon of the ice barrier that again is going to do nothing brain control did nothing because of the errata el shadow fusion that does nothing until construct comes back uh, Future Fusion, that card's been doing nothing. It's it's not going it's gonna continue to not do anything. Mind control is the kind of fucky one though. Mind control has no errata as far as I'm aware. And mind control is again, it, the reason it was great for the mind control was great for Synchro era, was great for Xyz era, and it was great for um, and it's great for Link era. It's great. It's great for that because you just take their monster and you mind control away with it into your Link monster. Um so, I don't know if I agree with that being at 3, but I don't think it'll be anything that's too heavily defining. Uh, the game is past the point of, like, mind control. Like, mind control, last time mind control was at 2 or 3, like, it was it was pretty important because it was, like, mind control a Blackwing and summon Blackwings in the mirror and then boost, like, a Sirocco or some shit. Um, or it was, like, things like mind controlling a Bestiari that your opponent had. And no matter what deck you were playing, like, you would... You'd have, like, Isaris in your extra deck or some shit like that. Like, it was it was a weird time when Mind Control was last at 3. Uh, but I don't know if it's going to matter now, is the thing. Uh, I would I would probably be a decent side deck card for mirror matches, but otherwise, I'm not sure it's going to be real. Uh, Preparation of Rights. This card did nothing when it was at 2. At 3 is fine. Shrit's still banned. The best neck, the best ritual deck can't play, basically, so it's fine. Sacrifice. This one's kind of weird, but Scout is still at 1, so I guess that's okay. Um... Like, Towers Turbo could potentially be a deck again, but again, like I said, Towers is outed by every Link monster that has a removal effect now. It's not that big of an issue. Uh, Bottomless Trap Hole is back to three. Yes! This card is great! I love Bottomless. Bottomless should have, like, almost never been limited. It's weird. Like, this this literally, this list so far looks like it's just syncing up a lot of the, like, the overlay onto the TCG list for the, the OCG list has had for years. I'm 100% okay with Bottomless at 3. It's obviously just a really good trap card. It's a really good side card. Uh, it's good for, like, more studdish based decks. Amazing. Torrential Tribute is at 3. Ojama Trio is at 3. That doesn't matter. Ceasefire is at 3. That doesn't matter. Burn decks are going to be... This might be a good card for time, but, like, it wasn't even a good card for time when it was at 2. But still, Torrential Tribute and Bottomless going to three each that is fantastic that means that other decks that are trying to be a lot more conservative in their game plan be more stunnish have gotten a big boost from this ban list because they get thunder king back to three they get bottomless to three they get torrential to three they get all this stuff i actually really like this ban list uh this ban list specifically this unlimited section it looks like this entire list was just syncing us up with the ocg because there's so many things that came back that just sync us up with the ocg like the monster reborn the Solemn Judgment, pretty much the only, like, really powerful card that we didn't get back that the OCG has is Pot of Avarice. Um, but everything else just, like, it syncs us up with the OCG really nicely. Like, we're a lot closer to the OCG format list than we were before. There's obvious differences, but that's what makes our form of the game uh, unique. That's what makes our format unique, but there's still tons of overlap. Like, the Firewall being limited, which I agree with. I agree with so much of this list. I love this list. Oh my god, can fantastic. Fantastic list. Fantastic list. Cannot wait to start testing this list. Okay. Amazing. I'm actually super hyped for this format now. I actually really am really hyped for YCS Atlanta. It's time to play test. Okay, but anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Do you like this list? Do you hate this list? What do you think should have been put back? What do you think should have been hit? Stuff like that. Let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I'll see you in the next video. But now that the video's over, I'd like to give special thanks to my patrons, Iradium, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertsen, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else supporting in the lower tiers. You guys help make what I'm doing here continue to be possible. You have my eternal gratitude, as always, and you're forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.